Hey guys, Carrot Tiffy here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Tile Quest Gashat from Kamen Rider x -Aid. This is the main Rider Gashat of Kamen Rider Brave, lets him transform into its level 1 and level 2 forms. So, let's get started. First off, we'll look at the Gashat by itself. Though, actually before that, one thing I want to make note of is the title, Tattle Quest. As a lot of you probably realize, Tattle isn't a real English word. Instead, it's a romanization of the Japanese word Tadoru, which means follow. So you could alternately translate this game's title as Follow Quest. And on a side note, Boxo Bike translates to Roaring Bike in English. So for this Rider Gashat, the uh, front of the grip is cast in metallic blue. And you have the uh, cover art sticker here, with the title written out in English, and the two T's stylized to look like swords. Then down here you have a stylized image of a knight, have, holding a shield in one hand, and in the other hand, a sword that is half engulfed in flames, and half engulfed in ice. You've got the title on the side, as well as the other standard elements, like the grip, button, speaker down here, and the clear part that will be inserted into the game driver or other similar devices. Now, on its own, it will cycle through three sounds on a two-parent cycle. The first button pressed will have it announce its name. And the second sound will randomly play either a game clear or game over sound. So there's the game over sound. And there is the game clear sound. And for this Gashat, it uses a light blue LED. Next, of course, we'll use it in the Gamer Driver. So, starting off, we'll do the basic transformation. And there you have the standard level 1 transformation sound. In this case, for Common Art Brave, Quest Gamer level 1. Next, open it up and level up to level 2. And there you have the transformation for Common Art Brave, Quest Gamer level 2. And here you can see the image of Conrad Brave and the game title on the side. Next, we'll play the level 3 sound first on its own. Then in combination with another Rider Gashat. In this case, we'll use Mighty Action X. Mighty Action X! Next, I'll show off the two special attacks that you can get out of this. First is the Critical Strike, using the Kinawaza Thought Holder. And then, as I haven't reviewed it yet, I'll bring in the slot holder from uh, Brave's Weapon and use that for the critical finish.
And lastly, because this is my first review of a router gadget on its own, I'll show you how you can activate the various functions of a router gadget, even if you don't have any of the other devices yet. First, for the level 1 transformation, press and hold in the left switch here. For level 2, hold in this and then press and hold the second switch. For level 3, start by pressing and holding the right switch, then press and hold the left switch. For the critical strike, press and hold in both switches at the same time. Then, press the activating switch once, press standby, then again for the critical strike. Then, for the critical finish, there's actually a little bit of trickiness that you have to do here, but what you do is press both switches at the same time, and as you're pressing them, press and hold the activation switch. Then, release the right switch. That being said, even though you can technically do this, I would still recommend picking up some of the other devices so that you can get the full effect out of the gashats. And there we go. Overall, TileQuest is a nice addition to the Deluxe Rider Gashat series, and does have its own cool array of lights and sounds. And since this is one of the transformation gashats for one of the riders, it is definitely one I can recommend to any fan of the series as one of the essentials. And the nice thing about these is that they're pretty easy to get a hold on, and are pretty cheap. Only going for about 1200 yen, which is around 11 dollars each. And, since they're light, shipping should generally be cheap. So, getting gashats should not be a problem. With that in mind, this is definitely one I can recommend, whether you're a big fan of Brave as a Rider, or just a big fan of the series in general. So, next time, as a follow-up to this, I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Gajakon Sword. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or no subscribe. And you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, riding off.